Today, we are traveling all the way from Manila to Cebu on a 24 hour ferry. <laughs> we have first class tickets and we will be exploring what life at sea looks like in the Philippines. Nothing could have prepared me for that. From the accommodation to the onboard entertainment, here is what a $90 ticket gets you on board a to go cruise ship. I think he's gonna trip up. Look at him, hands sweaty, knees spaghetti. Hello! Here's the room, Ah, thank you. Welcome to my crib. This is the pad. Got a big TV over there, flat screen, obviously. Super cozy memory foam bed. Lots of room for activities, even a good desk in my photo editing. Office space, yeah, we've got a tap as well. Does it work? Yeah. A running tap. And I'm literally opposite here, so we're well, roommates. See you later. After checking into our rooms, we discovered that there was an even better room available on the ship. So we paid an extra 1,500 pesos to the staff on board to move to a first class room, otherwise known as a state room. Oh, wow. Yeah, a lot better. Thank you so much. Yes. <laughs> oh, so what room. an upgrade. Oh, look at this. Prison to queen. <laughs> yes, look at this room here. A much bigger room to begin with. I am so happy to show you around our upgraded room. So for starters, we didn't even have closet space in the other, not that we're going to use it, but it's nice to have it. There is a fridge for all our drinks that we've just bought. Even is a kettle. And the thing I literally cannot believe, even in like nice hotel rooms, they've not had this yet. If you come in here, there is a bathtub. That is pretty crazy. Yeah. There is a bathtub in our room. I'm really happy. And then, bed each, whatever those units are, I think that's to turn the lights off. And the TV has a Netflix button and Prime. We don't know if it works, but hopefully it does. And there's a view. Which we did not have, we didn't even have a window before. Oh my God, we've not even left yet. Oh what, I thought we were halfway to Cebu. We haven't even moved. <laughs> we haven't even moved, we're still in Manila. Oh my God. The moment of truth, does the Netflix work? We are seconds away from finding out how great this trip's gonna be. <laughs> it's a game changer. <laughs> if, if the Netflix if works. If it works, I'm gonna cry. I mean, I'd be very surprised considering there isn't really any signal throughout the boat, is there? No, not for us first classes. <laughs> this has been a real story of the underdog. We started at the bottom, now we're here. What time do you want to wake up, Bruce? Oh, I'll set it for 11. Alarm time adjust. Good morning from the middle of the ocean. We're about 10 hours now into the journey to Cebu. I think we've got another 10 sort of hours left. They woke us up at 6am to announce the breakfast, which I personally think is a little bit too early. I literally slept like a baby. The beds were so comfortable. The boat was rocking a little bit throughout the night, but other than that, like, it was such a good sleep. The plan is now we're gonna go and head to the breakfast hall and see what they're offering for the breakfast. This is breakfast. I asked her for some scrambled eggs and sausages and this is what showed up. So yeah, I guess I'll just have the sausages and maybe a tiny bit of the scrambled egg. the lovely sun deck area of the boat. It is the most popular activity to do on the boat, purely down to the fact there's nothing else to do on the boat. So we're gonna go check it out. So, lovely spot to take photos as you can see. There's a few photo shoots happening as we, go, as we speak. It's like the actual bottom part of the boat you can't access and they have some sort of security guard there to stop you from going down. Gabby wants to meet the captain, but I don't think the captain wants to meet her. I've seen a fellow to-go boat in the distance. wonder if that's going to Cebu as well. 
looks slightly smaller than our boat, I think. Now we're going to give you a quick full tour of the boat, starting with Island Fiesta, which is the first cafe that they have here, first this cafe is the restaurant. Main restaurant in the boat. Ate there last night. So I think they're still currently serving breakfast. I'm guessing these are sausages, yeah. uh, egg, uh, rice yeah. and chicken. All the stuff that's inside the mini mar, but they just have it here as well. The only thing that's different is that brownie bar over there, which I will be trying later. There's only one real restaurant on the boat. It's kind of split into two parts, but we'll call it one restaurant. This is the girls' bathroom. It's pretty much just a toilet situation. I don't think there's a shower in this one. I imagine the men's is pretty similar as well. We have a karaoke machine here. Gabby was going hard on this last night. <laughs> <laughs> Which is already cheap. That's a bargain. The boat now has started shaking a little bit. We're trying to balance our steps as we're walking through. So this is the main deck. Everything's closed at the moment because it's, it's about seven o'clock, I think. Still really early. We got woken up by the big announcements. 7.10. 7.10, yeah, so the it's shops are closed. Time. It looks like we've got an escaping pig down here. <laughs> we have the front desk reception area here. If you have any questions about your stay, then come over to this desk and these lovely ladies will come and help you. The regular rooms through here. And we have a Watson's. Pretty much just sells a selection of drinks and you've got some noodles over here, a hair product, some nuts over here, some coffee. Main attraction is the salon where Gabby's going later and she's getting her nails done, her hair done, massage, massage. and the clinic is where you don't want to end up. The clinic is, I'm guessing if you get seasick or you hurt yourself or you have or you get thrown overboard. any medical problem or you get thrown overboard this is where you end up the clinic one thing i will say is that out of all the modes of transport we've taken in southeast asia um flying on the bus um even the small boats getting this ferry has probably been the most convenient relaxing and least stressful mode of transport that we've taken i would love to take one of these everywhere Ladies just made an announcement on the tannoy saying rough seas ahead, so we better strap in. I mean, she said it was really common, so I'm sure. It's the season. She said it's the season for it, so not to be concerned. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. And if not, we do have some life jackets in this cupboard here. We are back in the corridor because again, they've announced on the tannoy that lunchtime has arrived. So we're headed down to look what lovely, delicious food they have on offer. I'm guessing. It's chicken and rice. We've now been summoned to the lunch area where we go and select what we have, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so what's happening is we're going from the waiting area into the, thank you, into the Horizon Cafe. Deja vu. Deja vu, back to our breakfast table. Well, we've got some lovely lunch views. We've just been given a bowl of something. A bowl of something. Hi. Well, hello. What, what uh, is this one? Mushroom soup. Mushroom soup. Okay, thank you. Wow, looks pretty good to be fair, doesn't it? <laughs> Got some chicken and some rice and some vegetables. Gabby's actually managed to clear her beef. If you are in the Philippines and you're thinking of traveling from Manila to Cebu, then I would definitely suggest considering this mode of transport. Obviously it's a lot longer, it takes 22, 23 hours, but you know, it's a more scenic route and you get to enjoy your time. And if you're not in a rush for time, it's definitely a cheaper option as well. I think flights were about hundred pounds, this was half the price, so. And you're you know. asleep for half the time. And you're asleep for half the time anyway. Yeah, definitely an option to consider if you're not a massive fan of flying like we are. So we're just heading now into Cebu, which is behind us. Um, it's been about 24 hours, so yeah, we're super tired and super excited to explore the city of Cebu. Hope you liked the video. 
Yay. 